Hi guys, this is Vandy Cat, and today's video about be a, will be about what wheel you should use. Now, obviously, I don't use this wheel. It's just it's just that there are other sp uh, silent spinner is in their cage right now, and I don't want to take it out. So this is a smaller silent spinner, but you should use a bigger one. I think like the next size up from this is the minimum from gerbils, if not this one. So let's get started. So silent spinners are usually silent unless they are banging against the edge of their cage or there's a problem with it. So they're usually silent and I would recommend them but you should get a very big size so your dribbles backs won't kind of like go dig in like this. So I think these would be the uh, good choice to go with. Um, just to uh, bigger size and there's also one type of wheel that I forgot to mention and that would also be okay to use and it'll be coming up next. It's this wheel and I'm not exactly sure what the wheel's name is um, but it's got some old bedding on it and this works well and you can use it because there's no pl oh, place where they can get their feet stuck but I've noticed that most of my gerbils that I've had don't like this wheel as much because it's harder to run on because they like run on it like this and that's kind of hard for them so that's why they prefer an actual wheel but these will still be a good choice if you have like hamsters or anything or maybe mice um so yeah Um, so this is a kind of a mesh wire wheel, um, and this is bigger than my silent spinner, so that's why my gerbils like it more. Um, the only downside is that I don't think gerbils can get bumblefoot, uh, but their tail and feet can get stuck in this, so it could possibly make them lose either a limb or their tail. Uh, so that's a downside. Um, so when we were at the pet store buying Mouse, he had uh, a wheel like this in his cage. And we asked the pet store person who was there. And she said that they've never had a difficulty with these wheels. That they've never had a tail loss or any like foot injury. But I think it would always be better to be safe than sorry so I would um, go with a silent spinner but if you've had these for years and you haven't seen any problem um, I guess you could keep it but I really wouldn't recommend it so let's now talk about the silent spinner so this has been what wheel um, I think that's what I call it if that shows up when you search for it then yeah that's what I called it um, so overall, this got first, this got second, this got third. Um, I definitely recommend the silent spinner, but it, then again, if you've had dribbles for years and you haven't had a problem with it, um, yeah, I guess it's okay, but I would still switch over to one of these two. So, this has been the cat, and I guess I'll just say bye!